Welcome to the Catholic Sphere. Each week we have a different host and a different focus as we tackle topics important to Catholics around the globe. I'm your host this week, Jim Pinto. Today we'll be discussing evangelization. It's at the very heart, the very core of what it means to be church, of what it means to be Catholic, what it means to be Christian. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life that we are called, it's our vocation as church to share the good news of Christ and of his church. We're going to unpack more fully the EWTN Media Missionaries. They were here with us some time back, but there's so much more to share, and we hope that you will become a part of this great ministry. We have with us today Carlos Garcia, Project Supervisor at the EWTN Media Missionaries. John Paul Lawhead is a support supervisor at the EW10 Media Missionaries, both are joining us from Birmingham, Alabama. And we have Laura Toman, an EW10 Media Missionary and Area Coordinator and a Catholic children's author. She joins us from Austin, Texas. Welcome one and all. So let's get right into this beautiful expression, the EW10 Media Missionaries birthed out of the heart of Mother Angelica and of EWTN. Carlos, give us a quick overview, if you would, of the media missionaries and what you call the three P's of the media missionaries. Go right ahead. Great. Thank you for this opportunity, Jim, to talk about the EWTN Media Missionary Program. The EWTN Media Missionary Program is Mother Angelica's answer to folks who want to help spread the eternal word of Jesus Christ. That's it in a nutshell. We spread the word of Jesus Christ and his church with Mother Angelica and EWTN. So um, what we do, we support all the media missionaries who join us. And uh, what we do in a nutshell is you order, a volunteer who registers orders what materials they want. Then we send them the materials through the mail or, you know, they might want to get those materials online. We can have them online, too, electronically. And then with those materials, you, the EWTN Media Missionary shares that information at their parish, with family and friends, um, in their community, or online. So they have a wide area where they can spread the news. They don't have to do everything, but one or the other, or, you know, some people, they want to do everything. So that's good. We have um, three main areas of consideration when somebody volunteers. We call them the three Ps. The one P stands for prayer, and the other P stands for parish, and the last piece stands for public. These are areas of consideration. If you don't, if you've never volunteered before, you know you can volunteer with these focuses in mind, or 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 a combination of them. But um, prayer. So everything starts with the meeting missionary with prayer. Um, we have to pray for EWTN, pray for uh, uh, the people that we're going to meet and share with. We pray. Um, meeting missionaries pray. So that's. The, the beginning of everything. When we share with the parish, we there's at the parish, there's so many places you can share at the parish. You can share by leaving stacks of, of uh, schedules in the vestibule, or you can share with prayer groups at, at your parish. Basically, you have to, you know, you should talk to your parish priest and talk about it and see what, where and how you're going to share those things, the things that we send, brochures and flyers and things. Then there's the public, the public way of sharing, and that's where we go kind of outside of the parish in our community, maybe at a local bookstore, maybe at a hospital, at a nursing home, or even at prison ministry. Some people do that. But, um, and, and radio, oh, radio is very important. Everybody loves EWTN radio. So, you know, spreading the word about that, raising awareness of EWTN in these areas, that's what the volunteers do. We call them missionaries. So it starts and ends with prayer. So ending with prayer, we uh, we have a, a, a booklet that we give out to each media missionary when they register, to help them in their spiritual life. But um, we also have a card. Mother Angelica herself has uh, written a prayer that goes for, um, that goes to um, the network. She prays for the network. And I want to pray one, I want to tell you part of the prayer right in here. 
it's the last part. And it's very important that we uh, know it and we share it with meeting missionaries or otherwise. It says, bestow upon this network the power to inspire men to seek holiness of heart, zeal for the extension of thy church, courage to seek after justice and human rights, and patience to endure persecution. So Mother Angelica um, penned that prayer, and uh, we pray it often as meeting missionaries. Carlos, thank you so very, very much. We're going to unpack more fully those three Ps again of prayer and parish and public witness. We're reaching so many people that love to intercede and that love their priests, that love their parish, and who want to go publicly. They want to declare Jesus Christ as Lord and invite the wayward back home into the church. John Paul, share with us a little bit more. Unpack for us uh, the love of our people for the parish and things that they could be doing in the parish to help bring renewal into that parish that they love. Well, Jim, the parish is the center of the spiritual life. The, it's where we receive the Word of God as well as His sacraments. We have over 33 resources for you to distribute to your parishioners. All you need to do is ask the pastor or office personnel's permission, and then we'll send you, them to you on a regular basis. You select which ones you want to receive, and you also select how many you would like to receive. You can do, as we all like to tell our media missionaries, as little or as much as you'd like. Just fill the call. Go ahead, meet God in personal prayer, and then from there, whatever of our resources resonate with you, go ahead and reach out to the world around you. We'll even send you a starter kit, which has five of our most popular resources. You'll have a chance to see exactly what that is about and be able to share with the parish priest or the uh, person in the office. Also, you can distribute free EWTN materials to inform your fellow parishioners and invite others to become media missionaries. As you can see, we have our seasonal highlights, which is one of our most popular resources. It's basically a one-page guide, kind of like a uh, TV guide, if you would, that would allow people to be able to distribute their resources more fully and have EWTN at a glance and let them know exactly when they can tune in and find programs on EWTN. We also have a Catholic survival guide, which tells a little bit more about the history of EWTN and also about what types of programs you can find whenever you seek to tune in. We also have different brochures considering how to pray the rosary, how to go to confession. We also have seasonal and general posters that you can place out throughout the year. We also have parish bulletins. This is very important. You can go ahead and download this. You can share that with your parish and they can find out exactly what is going to be on EWTN. So you can be enriching people throughout the course of the year 24-7. Mm -hmm. Also, we do have parish talks that are available through our re electronic resources. Just go to our website, EWTNmissionaries.com, find the resources tab, download that parish talk, and then you can even go ahead and set up an EWTN information table after Mass a wonderful, wonderful way to go ahead and share the gospel of Jesus Christ through EWTN. You can also start a parish group. You can send that out through all of those ones that you share on a daily basis through Knights of Columbus, RCIA, Legions of Mary. Perhaps you want to start a children's ministry. You can order rosaries. We have a children's pack that we'll have a chance to send out. And then also we do have many um, missionary opportunities for the ministry to the homebound. They can even become prayer warriors. You can order a director of religious education pack, which is a DRE pack. And we also have a Spanish pack, which is available with five of our Spanish resources. So please make sure you go ahead and give us a call to find out more about that. Each interaction and resource that we offer is a heartfelt invitation to know Jesus Christ and the gospel more thoroughly through EWTN. You can call us at 205-795. 5771. Again, that's 205-795-5771. You can contact us via email at EWTN, missionaries at EWTN.com, or also go and check out our website, EWTNmissionaries.com. Thank you so much, John Paul. It just excites me to see all of those resources there. And so many of those resources, whether they're for children or for adults, for marrieds, for people inquiring, it all goes with all the shows that EWTN has. And so 
EWTN and the meeting missionaries are equipping you to do the work of the ministry right where you live, right where you are in your home, in your community, in your parish, in your diocese. Lara, your outreach uh, within the parish, if you would share with us about that, how you're working this out, and what you see other meeting missionaries doing in their parishes that helps to work for renewal. Well, yes, well, as I mentioned before, we have um, a great number of people who have joined, but it's always going to be an ongoing mission to recruit more people from each parish. And the reason for that is because, um, like I said, when we started, I only had about 135 people, you know, in a city of 1.7 million Catholics. Um, that's just not enough to reach everyone. So um, if we could recruit ongoing uh, in each parish and, and have those people recruiting other people too. Um, and when I say recruit, I mean, you know, ask, tell people about EWTN, share the resources. There's so much that you can share. Um, that you'll be surprised how many people will tell you, oh, I love EWTN, you know, um, that people will come up to you as a media missionary and I have people just want to come up and hug me. I just love Mother Angelica and I tune into mass, you know, um, or my mom who's homebound, she can't get to, you know, mass anymore. And this is what she has in her assisted living and how much it's changed them. And even if for me personally, um, I have to share a small bit of testimonial with you all. You know, there was a chapter in my life when I was wayward away from the church and how many of you out there are praying for someone to come back to mass or, you know, to relive their faith again, you know, maybe they've fallen away. You would be amazed at how many people upon watching one little piece of a program or hearing one of the messages or maybe reading just something in uh, one of the, the pieces of literature that they have, they start watching EWTN. It's like a, a thing and it grows and the Holy Spirit, it, he waters that. And he will, he will work on that person and that person will tune into programs and they'll learn things about their Catholic faith that they never knew before. And then they'll feel empowered. And then the next thing you know, they're going back to mass and then they're celebrating the sacraments. They're going to confession. They're receiving the Holy Eucharist again and they're reliving that faith that God and, you know, Jesus said, you know, don't be a lamp under a bowl, share that light. And so you're not just, you know, you're, you're not just sharing a brochure. You're sharing something that is life-giving. This is something that is spiritually life-giving. One little, you know, seed that you've planted can grow into something where if someone's going back to mass again, what happens in that parish? People start coming back to church. They start tithing again. The parish begins to grow. The church begins to grow. You're really, really making an impact that you just cannot even imagine how strong that is. And we all know that the devil likes to divide and conquer. So we as church militant, we have we do the opposite. We come together. We are strength in numbers. So if you told just two people about EWTN and they got involved, imagine what we could do. It's like St. Catherine of Siena. We could set the world on fire. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what our church is all about. This now more than ever, yes. we need yeah. Catholic resources and we need uh, to grow our church. And EWTN is just the way to do that. Amen. That's the work of EWTN, the work of the media missionaries, that by God's grace, he would land on the works that we're doing and that he would light a fire, a new ardor, as John Paul II said, within the church, within believing people, and that that love for God would bubble over uh, to others. Carlos, let's share more about any key resources you have uh, in that first P of prayer because everything flows out at EW10, Mother Angelica, from that life of prayer. Yeah, the life of prayer is very important for each me missionary. It's a foundation. So all of us need to be praying for 
for EWTN, for our, our work as media missionaries, as, as people. Generally, just everybody needs to pray. So it's important. For our media missionaries, it's important that we have um, a, a guide to, uh, to, to pray with and for. And uh, we give these guides out. They're little booklets. It's a, it's a devotional guide. And it's a little booklet that was made specifically for media missionaries. It was written by um, people with uh, Father Joseph and Father Dominic, I think, was w one of the authors. But they basically focused on media missionaries. It's for our media missionaries to, to pray with. It has um, inside of it. It has what the mission of EWTN is, what the uh, the heart of being a missionary is. It has patron saints inside of it. Uh, a talk about uh, uh, a little description of Saint Paul the Apostle. A description of uh, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Therese of Lisieux, who who never left her monastery, but yet she's the the uh, patron saint of missionaries. It's very interesting. We also have other things in in that booklet for meeting missionaries to uh, to grow in their spiritual life. There's the rosary, a complete description of how the rosary works, and there's much more. It's a it's a reminder for meeting missionaries that we need that that Amen. prayer as a foundation. It's a reminder that that you know the world is going. There's going to be obstacles. It's going to be. It's not going to be easy to share uh, about EWTN and about God and about um, about what we do and what we would like to have done. So I'd like to um, to remind the media missionaries to, uh, as in Philippians 4, verse 8, to focus on what is true and what is honorable and praiseworthy and to keep your spirits up when we're, when we're doing this missionary work. So it's yes. very important. Thank you so much, Carlos. John Paul, can you introduce us to the third media missionary pillar, public outreach and the various ways people can reach out and be the light of Christ to the world about them? Well, absolutely. The world around us is in need of good news. And it's not just good news, it's the gospel. And that is of Jesus Christ. Evangelization can be as simple as telling those we meet about EWTN. And in doing so, not only do we share our Catholic faith, but we can also lead people to know Jesus Christ. Whether you have opportunities to share with coworkers, customers, or social media, or fellow students, EWTN can help by offering you free resources that you need to make a difference and to share the love of Jesus Christ. You can share EWTN person to person. You can share in your social media, on your post throughout. You can also forward eblasts, which are informative emails that we send you twice a month that give you news and updates. Also, you can... Uh, have a chance to seek to promote websites and activities. You can have a table or attend a community event with our resources. You can promote EWTN news and radio. You can recommend EWTN to the greater community, such as your schools and campuses, bookstores, and any location where you perceive and find that EWTN is made welcome. Now, I can't tell you enough. We receive so many wonderful testimonies from our media missionaries that share their success stories. Uh, people go ahead and let us know that they shared at their favorite restaurants. They went to a barbecue. They happened to go to a tailgate party or even that they were just in the line at the grocery store. And I'd like to tell people to go ahead and just keep some on you. Uh, Jim, I know that you carry some to the Y with you. The fact is, whenever you have a chance to be walking about this world, that is a separate circle. Your circle, again, we talk about it's like a ripple in a pond. We go ahead and cast this stone in our prayer life, and it, it has a chance to go out across, and it can touch so, so many lives. And that's what we're asking you to do. We're all called to be great saints. Don't miss the opportunity. Those are the words of Mother Angelica. They still echo to each and every one of us each day. We should all keep that in mind. She also said, everything starts with one person. I don't care if you're five or 105. God from all eternity chose you to be where you are at this time to change the world. Our Lord's great commission continues. He's asking you to go out into the world and make disciples. That is such a powerful thing that we can be a part of each and every day. 
to have an idea that in truth, if you think of back, we are in 2022, correct? That's 20 generations backwards. And there's Jesus Christ. And right now in this little window that we have a chance to live in, this is your chance to enter into the greatest story ever told. We ask you to go ahead and give us a phone call again, 205-795-5771, email missionaries at EWTN.com. And you can also reach out to us at EWTNmissionaries.com. Watch our intro video and find out more about those three Ps. Thank you, John Paul, wonderfully said. Well, Lara, can you share with us some special ways that you may have experienced that, that you're doing to reach out in your diocese and how you're making people aware of EW10, but also recruiting them to become a part of the solution and to share the good news of Christ with EW10? Well, yes, obviously I try to go to as many Catholic events as I can <laughs> because um, that is where people are genuinely curious about EWTN, about the teachings of the church. They're looking, you know, it's kind of like being in a store, you know, where you have some people who are just browsing and you have some people that are just, they're enthusiastic shoppers and they just can't get enough, you know, and they're looking for that great sale. And so, you know, our gospel is always free and EWTM materials are always free. Prayer is always free. We always have the Catholic resources that we need right in our hands. And so there is no shortage of that. And, you know, a candle never loses any of its light by lighting another candle. So uh, to share something like this is to change someone's life. Um, one of the in wonderful inspirational stories, I once had a, a little girl, she was six, about to be seven. And she said that she wanted to become a media missionary. And I said, well, you know, let's ask your parents. And the parents were on board and she was like, what do I have to do? And you know, that moved me a lot because I know uh, adults that are a little reluctant or, you know, hesitant or maybe a little apprehensive even about the idea of becoming a missionary. But here she was ready to just, what do I gotta do? And uh, you know, that is what we are all about. Don't be afraid, friends. This is something that is so easy and it is so amazing for your spirit, you know, to know that you're doing something to share God's kingdom. I mean, and when it's all said and done, we want to run that race. We want to do those things that Jesus said to do so that we can share him with everyone. Because if he was standing right there with you, you know, it would be hard to say no, wouldn't it? And he is with us every Sunday when we receive him in the Holy Eucharist. So ask him, ask him to come in, ask him, Jesus, what do I need to do? What can I do to further your kingdom? And I'm here to tell you as an area coordinator, become an EWT and media missionary. You'll never regret it. Even if it's just passing the torch to the next one, even if it's a one-time thing, you will be amazed. At, at the spiritual reward that you're going to receive. And of course, you're going to give glory to God, which is what we always want to do in life. Mm. Beautifully stated, Laura. And I like the point that you made, especially of attending uh, gatherings of Catholics in various groups and conferences and so on. It's, it's the low hanging fruit. So these people are, they're loving the Lord, they're there, and they just need to be asked. Like you're saying, a lot of times this is just really easy. Nobody's asked them. To, to share the gospel with EW10 and how frequently they will do that very thing. We have something special for you right now. We want to show you a brief message from our foundress, Mother Mary Angelica of the Annunciation, a little word that she has, how the media missionaries were, were so in her heart, foundress of EW10, foundress of the EW10 media missionaries. So listen and watch. Thank you for being an EWTN media missionary. <laughs> I love that. I'm so glad we found 
that peace. From Mother Angelica to our 14,600 or so media missionaries throughout the United States and Canada, Mother Angelica thanking you. And those of you that are going to join us, you know, give us a call right after the show and say, I, I, want, to, I want to carry on Mother's legacy and, and Mother's proclamation of the gospel. I love EWTN. I love, I love the church. I, I love the sacraments of the church. I love the saints. I love catechesis. And I see that happening with EWTN. And there's a place for you, as our panel has said, uh, Carlos uh, Garcia and, and John Paul Lawhead, Lawhead Lara Toman, thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you for answering the call of EW10 and of Mother Angelica and for being a media missionary. Thank you for your passion to this whole panel. Thank you. And I want everyone watching today to understand that these are lay people. It's not just priests that go sharing the gospel and bishops who share the gospel. Every Catholic is called to be a missionary of human dignity. And you are sent by God Almighty to evangelize this world, the whole world. It's your identity. It's the identity of the church, of the church to be missionary, to be evangelistic. So this is your time. This is your call to do it with E. W T N. And so we thank you for joining us today. We thank you for your passion for the gospel of Jesus Christ and your love of EWTN. And we'll see you next week here on the Catholic Sphere. Meanwhile, share the gospel with the world, the whole world, beginning in your home and in your community. Bye now. <laughs>